Hello guys and welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, we're going to find the first term of a geometric sequence. Okay, we have a little exercise here uh, we can use to practice it. Okay, so a geometric sequence in which all the terms are positive has sum to the infinity 20, and the sum of the first two terms is 12. So we ask to find the term, the first term of the sequence. Okay. <laughs> So first of all, we start by you know writing the sum to the infinity. I mean, the sum in general of a geometry sequence. Okay, this is here S n equals to a times one minus r to the power of n divided by one minus r. This is the formula, general formula of a sequence, geometry sequence. I mean, it's sum. Okay. Now. As it is said in the exercise, we have it assumed to the infinity equals to 20. I mean, the suit to the infinity, we've seen that before, means that, I mean, in our previous video, it means that the, um, the, uh, the value of R, I mean, the absolute value of R has to be less to 1, okay? And this means that this whole thing here, R to the power of N, will be tending to 0. You know, I gave this reason in my previous video already, okay? So I'm going to come back on it. And... As a matter of fact, we're going to have s to the infinity equals to a divided by 1 minus r, which is equal to 20. That's what it said here. Okay? And this result right here, we will take it just like the first uh, equation in a series of equation we're going to have. Okay? a divided by 1 minus r equals to 20. And we're going to write a here as a function of r. Okay? It's kind of an isolating a. Okay, it gives us 20 times 1 minus r, and this is our first equation, right? So the second information in the exercise is saying that the two sum, I mean the sum of the first two terms is 12.8. Okay, look, um, we are in a geometric sequence. You know in a geometric sequence, we have the sum of two terms, it is written like this, okay? But remember that in geometric sequence, uh, the uh, the first term to go, I mean, to move from the first term to the next one, I mean, to the to the next one, uh, you have to multiply the first term by the common ratio r. So it means that the second term actually is the first term times the common ratio. This is what I wrote here. Okay, and they say that the sum of these two first terms equals twelve point eight. Okay, so as we have in here, um, twelve point eight right here equals to a plus a times r and we will just factorize here, here a i mean this is what they got in common right factorize a here it gives us a one a, a times one plus r which equals 12.8 and by cross multiplying here that's what i put one one under to make a fraction that i can cross multiply them <laughs> It gives us a equals to 12.8 divided by 1 plus r, okay? And this is here actually our second equation, right? So we have having two equations. We have an a equals to 20 times 1 minus r and a equals to 12.8 divided by 1 plus r. So let us just say a equals a, okay? That's logic. And 1 equals 2 equation 1 equals equals equation 2 gives us 20 times 1 minus r equals to 12.8 divided by 1 plus r okay and i'm going to cross multiply here it means that 1 plus r will go this way okay we have actually a 1 here under so it's going to go that way okay and make some rooms here by scoring a little bit up okay so here and then we would then, as we cross multiply, we're going to have 20 times 1 minus r times 1 plus r equals to 12.8. All right. And as you can see here, this here is actually an algebraic identity, which gives us 1 minus r to the power of 2. Right. Then times 20, therefore, equals to 12.8. And right here, uh, we're going to take, we are passing minus 20r the power of 2 to this side why because it has a minus sign so we need to have it be positive so it'd be easier to work work on okay and passing 12.8 to that other side it means that 
this term twelve point eight will be subtracted from twenty, which is going to give us seven point two, and twenty r to the power of two will be on that side. All right. As we're looking for r, we're first going to divide both sides by twenty, which gives us right here zero point three six, and the other side r to the power of two. Okay. And now we can square root it, right? By square rooting here, we got r equals to because the square root of 0 0.36 or 36 uh, it's like having the square root of 36 is 6 and the square root of 0 0 it gives you 0 0.6 right so this is the uh, the come out ratio of these sequence so as you can see we're not going direct to find the first term so we have to occasionally go through r because this is very important here we have some elements that is giving the opportunity to find r before going to a okay otherwise um i think it's possible to do it otherwise but it's going to take a long time okay now that we have r we can you know number it as the three the third equation in this uh exercise we got one here two and three okay and we can replace a we can just substitute r or replace a in one of these both equation here either one or two all right then we're gonna say three in one that's what i chosen right here chosen this one three in one and it gives us uh, a equals to 20 times one minus 0 0.6 and uh, one minus 0 0.6 equals 0 0.4 which is four tenths right so we're gonna have 20 times four ten tenth equals to a and then um we are having here we will divide by 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 10 here we have an a equals to 8 and that's the first term of our sequence okay yeah that's it okay thank you guys for watching again and until next time bye bye